Welcome to our multi-part series on using the remote desktop application in Windows. In other words, known as terminal services. It's built into XP Pro, which we're using here. If you have Home Edition, you can still get it. You can still download it and install it. And if I can remember, I'll try to get you the link to get that from later. In order to use this, we have to do a few things. We have to set, set, take care of setting some settings. We have to become familiar with IP addresses. And we also have to uh, in, make the connections. So, to start with, the first thing you want to do is go to your control panel. Go to the user accounts, if you haven't already done so. Create an administrator account and a password. Uh, after you've done that, restart the computer. Okay? That's very important. Next thing we're going to want to do is click on our start menu and go to your My Computer icon. Right click on it, choose Properties, so it'll bring you to here. Click on the Remote tab and make sure that this is checked right here. No need to select remote users at this time, but make sure that's checked. Click apply and OK. Check it, make sure it took. Go into the Windows firewall setting. Make sure this is not checked. That's checked. And make sure that this is checked. Click apply and OK. Now, I'm going to go and show you how to actually get to the remote desktop. It's accessories menu, communicate, oh, now for that, communications, and then uh, remote desktop connection. You can see I've already put an IP address in here. It's for my local area network, and there's a difference connecting remotely uh, from outside the local area network or LAN, and the way you do it if you're on a LAN. The way I'm going to just demonstrate first is on a LAN, which I'm on right now, a local area network. Here I've put my username in. I'm going to type in my password. Okay. We have different options we can use the display, whether we want to hear, hear the sounds from the other computer, if we want to share the resources such as printers and disk drives. For example, if you want to copy files, or cut and paste you need to have this checked right here. Um, the experience. If we're going to be doing it over the internet we'll choose broadband and we won't choose to use the desktop background. If we're on a LAN like I am now we can go ahead and use the desktop background. And just simply connect after that. And there is our remote desktop. This is our remote desktop right here. And you can see I can minimize it, raise it. And we have full control of the other computer right now. We can install programs, change settings, browse the net, everything that we could do um, if we, as if we were sitting right there. And what we could also do is go into programs from here, uh, accessories, Offer other desktop. We can choose communications and open up another remote desktop connection from that computer to another one. When we're done, just simply click the X and it'll log us off. Be sure to watch all all the the parts to this because if you don't, it's not going to work for you, and you won't understand it. But once you come to an understanding of how it works. I, I feel very confident you'll do very well at using the remote desktop. So be sure to watch the other parts of the series on remote desktops.